Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. <laughs> So many things in our lives today are powered by electricity. Most of our toys, lights, and even some of our cars run on electricity. Today, we're going to explore electrical circuits. It's important that you do so with a responsible older person. Electricity is powerful and can be dangerous. We're only going to experiment with what is called a DC circuit. At no time will we be working with the electricity we get from the sockets in the wall. Wall sockets can be extremely dangerous. Do not experiment with wall sockets. It's fun to experiment, but I want you to be safe when you do it. You got that, right? Do not goof around with wall sockets. They can be dangerous. This is gonna be fun. How does electricity work? All these devices do what they do because of the electric circuits inside of them. It's true, they need electricity to run, but the electricity is not the whole picture. It's actually the electrical circuit that makes the magic happen. An electric circuit in its simplest form has three parts. It has an electric power source, such as batteries. It has some sort of thing that uses the electricity. That might be a motor or a light or a buzzer. Finally, it has a path for the electrical energy to travel along. Now, in this picture, there's even a fourth part, a switch. An electrical circuit doesn't need a switch to work, but it comes in handy for shutting things off. Let's take a closer look at electrical circuits. Let's start with a basic definition of electricity. Electricity is simply the movement or flow of electrical energy. Sometimes it's referred to as the flow of an electrical charge. And what about a circuit? What's that? Well, a circuit is simply a path in which electricity can flow. If electricity isn't flowing through a path, nothing happens. Let's take a look at this working circuit. We can see the different parts. We have a source of the electrical energy. In this case, it's a battery. Remember, Energy is the ability to do work. Batteries are devices that convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Batteries power all sorts of things, from tiny toys to huge trucks. So we've got the source of electricity, a battery. In this circuit, the device is a light, but it can be many different things. Whatever that thing might be, we sometimes refer to it as being the load. The circuit always has a conductor. That's what we call the wires that carry the electricity. Sometimes the conductors aren't wire at all. Sometimes, like on this board, which contains many different circuits, the conductor is a strip of metal inside the device. 
The conductor in this circuit is simply wire. Wire conducts electricity. When a material conducts electricity, it allows electrical energy to travel through it. There are lots of different things that conduct electricity. Let's take a look at some of them. How can we use this circuit to see what kinds of materials are conductive? Did you say connect the parts with different materials? I thought so. Let's do it. Do you think these scissors will conduct electricity? Oh yeah. Well, it's a metal. We kind of thought it would conduct electricity. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You know, now that I think about it, I remember that glass like this does not conduct electricity. When a material does not conduct electricity, we call it an insulator. The metal scissors were a conductor, but the glass beaker was an insulator. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. As I was experimenting with the different items, I was checking to see which items would close the circuit. A closed circuit is one that has a complete path through which electrical energy can flow. This circuit is closed. This circuit is open. When a circuit is open, there is no path for electrical energy to flow. This is what a switch does. It gives us the ability to open and close a circuit on purpose. Now that we have an understanding of how an electrical circuit works, let's take things a step further. In this circuit, you can see I've added an additional light. There's still a battery, still a switch, and we can still see the wires. We can still see the path for electrical energy to flow. Here, I've gotten a, a little carried away perhaps, but we're still looking at a series circuit. They're just a lot more light bulbs. Now though, I want to show you the problem with a series circuit like this one. Maybe you've experienced something similar while decorating for the holidays. You see, a circuit like this one only has one path for electrical energy to travel along. When that path is broken, or as we know to say, it opens, the circuit stops working. This type of circuit is called a series circuit. All of its components are in a single path. We say they are in series. Series circuits like the one in our string of light bulbs are really common, but that doesn't mean they're always the best. If you want a circuit with more than one load, it's oftentimes a good idea to create what is called a parallel circuit like this one. This set of lights looks the same as the first, but it's very different. You probably know that when two things are parallel, they run alongside one another. This circuit doesn't have any parallel lines, but it does have two paths that run alongside each other. When we look closely, we can see that each bulb has its own path. This bulb has a continuous path, and this bulb has a continuous path. I can take one bulb out, and the other bulb continues to work. The individual paths make it so the bulbs work independently. Simple electrical circuits are super cool, but simple series and parallel circuits are just the foundation of the much, much more complex circuits used in modern electronics. Most modern electronics, like computer games, TVs, cell phones, use circuit boards. These circuit boards, often called PCBs, for printed circuit boards, have lots and lots of miniaturized electric circuits. They are printed on a board, like this. Printed circuit boards are amazing, but the principles remain the same. Electric circuits are a path through which electricity flows. 
An electric circuit in its simplest form has three parts. It has an electric power source, such as batteries. It has some sort of load that uses the electricity. Finally, it has a path for the electrical energy to travel along. Electrical circuits are a central part of the modern world we live in. From small and simple to the huge and complicated, electrical circuits are amazing. Just like you.